Hey, how's it going? It's Kevin. Wanted to show how to tie a really nice, simple, easy micro intruder style fly. Starting off, it's a 35 millimeter Waddington shank. And I'm using the extra strong from Lagerton in black. It is the 74 denier. So I'm gonna run a thread base. And then for my stinger hook, I'm gonna use the Partridge intruder size four. And for my rigging, I'm gonna use 14 pound Fireline doubled over. So I get a lot of people ask me questions about rigging these intruders and why I do the doubled over fire line. Personally, I like to have something that's a little bit stiffer. It also provides a backup in case one piece would fray. Never had that happen, but it's just one of those safety peace of mind things. So, but more for the, uh, the, the keeping the shape and doesn't get tangled. So once you double it over, you've got two loops here, uh, you're gonna pinch those down. And then on this intruder hook, it's an octopus style with an upturned eye. I'm gonna feed both those loops right through that top of that eye. So you push those back over the hook, pull that in tight. So then you got a nice hook that's gonna ride eye up, or sorry, it's gonna ride hook point up. It's nice and nice and stiff too. So it's enough that it'll have a little bit of give that you don't get the, the benefits of the short shank hook, but it's also, it's not gonna foul up like people I've seen use Dacron or, braid or some other stuff. So um, we're going to attach that now onto the Waddington. And then I just like to put a little bit of extra glue on there just to give that extra hold. You'll notice I did not use any weight, no lead on the, the shank, and I also did not use any dumbbell eyes. Uh, for this fly, uh, I want to use the tip and the weight of the shank to get down. I just broke my thread there. You have to be careful with these Waddingtons on that gap. It's a sharp little spot. So can reattach. But yeah, I'm not going to use any weight on this fly. Um, the weight of the Waddington and then also the uh, the tip that I use or the intermediate head uh, will get my fly down and fishing where I need it to be. So for the body I'm going to use the Lagerton. It's the French flat braid. Um, it's in the white pearl color. This is the full-sized um, flat braid. It's not the micro uh, that I've used before in some other videos. So I'm gonna tie it in up here by the eye. And then I'm just gonna run that the whole length back. So for an underwing for this fly, um, looking for somewhat of a style of a bait fish. Um, and green seems to be really popular uh, for the emerald shiners and just really seems to pop um, for our Great Lakes fish where I fish on South Shore Lake Erie. A lot of clear water, uh, a lot of leaves in the water in the fall too. So the last thing you wanna do is be fishing something that's orange or yellow. So I'll take a little bit of this Arctic Fox and I'm gonna tie it in where it only comes almost to the bend, uh, the return eye on the back here of the Waddington. I don't want this to be a full wing. I just want this to kind of fill in as a body. Next, I'm gonna use a little bit of flash. Uh, this is the Mirage Flashaboo in a uh, 3067 uh, color. It's the pearl color, I believe. And I'm only gonna take three strands of this. And with this Flashaboo, um, I really think less is more uh, for my style. I don't like to have a bunch of flash hanging off my fly. I've actually got four strands on here. And so to put this stuff on here, um, it's going in between my wings, so it's really gonna start to move a little bit. I just take it in my fingers and I bring it up the other side of the thread and lay it right on the top. Um, I'll take another wrap just to kind of hold that in place. And then I go into that V style where I can have it up on top of the wing, but it has some space so it's not tied into a clump. So it's kind of v up on the top of my wing. And then I'll cut that to length right with the, the longest part of the green there. And I'll kind of, as I cut, I'll just slide a little bit so that it's not completely even. So it's got a little bit of, a little bit of flash there on the top. Next, I'm gonna go for my, my up, upper over wing and I'm gonna be using some gray Arctic Fox. And for this, I really wanna lose the guard hair. So I'm have a nice big clump here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be holding by the end here. So I wanna lose a lot of this under fur. I wanna just want the guard hair. So I'm gonna start to pull all this stuff out. Good way to hit this too is with a dubbing brush, holding it down and just You can still see I got a, 
got a little too much in there, so you start to really lose the bulk. As you slide your fingers out, you're just holding on to the longest hairs and losing all that stuff that's down underneath. So I'm looking at something around in there. And I want this to come over top of that wing, so I want to be using Wraith, make the first clip probably, I want to tie in is probably right in about there. And I want to make sure that I don't have any fibers that are the wrong length, so I pinch there, just give a little pull. You can see they start to get the natural curvature of that hair going that way. You can either steam these. I'm not going to take the time to do that because it'll change out when it gets wet. But if you just kind of twist in your finger, you'll get a nice even space and kind of going every direction there. And so then I'll get everything here stacked up vertically so it's nice in order. Um, what really is nice about this is that that flash that's kind of stuck in the middle will just move just enough. And so I'm now going to put on my hackle. So for my hackle, I have a Heron Substitute from uh, Canadian Tube Fly Company. Uh, the link's down in the description for all these pieces, the materials are going in here. So um, with this Heron Substitute, there's a lot of empty fibers up top. Um, I really want to start kind of in there once they start to get a little bit thicker. And I'm going to tie this with the convex side facing me, so the bend is away from me. I'll tie that in over here on my side. And then I'll start to pull out some of these fluff fibers here at the bottom that I don't want to have in there. And I'll palmer this around until I get my coverage that I wanted. Always stroking those fibers backwards so they don't get trapped. These uh, fibers are pretty thin and sparse, so I don't want them getting trapped. And then I'll tie off here on the bottom. Next, I'm gonna take two jungle cock eyes. And these are similar size, so I wanna do is I wanna strip out a lot of this uh, extra fluff on here. So a trick for these is whenever you get these two concave sides facing, get the shiny sides facing out. You line them up so they're kind of one married together feather. Lick your fingers. Wet them, then when you put them together, when you open them up, they're two separate feathers. So I'll get them back together again. And what that'll do is as I open them up, place them right onto the fly so they're nice and even. And then to help keep these things in place, I also like to take them and bend back those butt ends. Just do one, or two wraps. and then I can go in and trim them. Do a quick whip finish. And then I'll hit with some glue. It's a nice unweighted fly to fish on either a tip or an intermediate head that gets down and really looks like an emerald shiner. So uh, thanks for watching this. If you enjoyed this video, please click like down below. Subscribe to my channel or check out some of these other videos I've done. Thanks for watching.